Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yuriel again. Uh, sorry I haven't done any uh, vlog videos for the last couple weeks, but uh, I'll explain why I haven't uh, really done any. But uh, I actually wanted to talk about uh, four different things today. That's why I have my phone. Uh, but anyways, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, one of my good friends. His name is uh, Duffy Baker. I've, I've known Duffy for the past nine years we actually uh worked together uh back at earl's a uh, long time ago uh, and that's how we ended up first meeting um he was a good friend of uh my buddy zach and ramey um so that's that's how i got introduced to uh, zach and ramey just because we were um working to working together in in the same restaurant at that time and uh, af after work we would just uh, hang out uh, drink some beers and uh, really uh, enjoy each other's company um, uh, Duffy's uh, one of the good <laughs> I, I want to say well, Duffy's one of the best people I know but unfortunately I haven't been too good of a friend to him. Um, I wish I could uh, talk to him a little bit more often, but that's on me. Uh, but the reason I wanted to mention Duffy is because he actually moved out to Penticton a few years back, and uh, that's why I haven't been able in been keeping in contact with him. But uh, just recently, he started a campaign to run for city council in Penticton so I just wanted to um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Duffy for really from where from where I met him from where I met him the first time to seeing where he is now with his own uh, construction company uh, award-winning construction company I should say uh, Baker Construction um, also, he has uh, a lovely wife. Um, I believe her name is Koa. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't met her yet. Um, I'm sure she's a nice person as well. If uh, she's, uh, if she really loves Duffy, so um, I, <laughs> I really can't say anything bad about her since I don't know her. But I, I doubt I would have anything bad to say about either of them. Um, but no, if you are living in the Penticton area, um, with the with the elections coming coming up, I would suggest uh, looking into uh, Duffy Baker, finding out his story and uh, what he's all about. He's he's always super helpful um, to his friends. Um, I believe he has good moral character and a good moral standing. So, if that's if that's something you're looking for. Um, I would I would definitely try and find out more about Duffy and find out more about his politics as a person I, I love Duffy as a person I don't know too much of his uh, about his politics or what uh, what platform he's running on unfortunately um, but I believe he has his campaign website up and started already so um, you'll, you'll find out more information about him and what he wants to do uh, on there but other than that I, I just want to wish Duffy the best of luck in not only in his construction company but also um, but also running for City Council of Penticton I never I never would have guessed that this was uh, something that he wanted to do but um, I'm just gonna try and support him any little way that I can um, so yeah, that's that was the first thing. Uh, second thing. Oh, so the second thing I wanted to talk about is an injury that I've been having to deal with. It's a, it actually happened after um, the Seattle Open uh, about a month back. Um, it happened. It happened right after the tournament, and it was it had to deal with uh, my back. Right after the week 
after the Seattle Open tournament, um, I took that week off from training just to see how my how my back was doing. Um, it actually felt really good, um, so good that the next week I ended up training, but um, but the Saturday of that second week, I had I had. Uh, what you call it? I had a tournament coming up, which was the Jiu Jitsu Ohana one that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Well, that I was going to compete in, um, but because I ended up just training that entire week, by the time um, the weekend rolled around, my back was feeling absolutely terrible. I could barely uh, get up from my bed early in the morning to do anything so that's that's what kept me from doing the Jiu Jitsu Ohana tournament and that's why I haven't really been uh, I haven't really been training as hard as I would like to um, so I'm, I'm still debating on which tournaments coming up that I want to do as well which is the number three thing that I wanted to talk about the tournaments coming up um, we have the all versus all uh, combat classic uh, coming up um, we are going to do that at the Burnaby Central again um, last year we had a good turnout um, everything went by pretty smoothly uh, even this year when we held the tournament in the gym um, the tournament ended up being uh, really ended up going by really quick um, there weren't too many discrepancies on on uh, results and everything and everything seemed to be moving smoothly and on time which is good um, so we're just gonna try and keep keep trying to uh, <laughs> keep trying to put on the best tournaments possible it's uh, of course submission only but uh, we also have uh, stand-up fighting uh, all martial all martial arts fighting, um, gi jiu jitsu and no gi jiu jitsu. Uh, those will be submission only um, as well. So um, if you're interested on competing uh, October fourteenth, I would uh, suggest looking uh, looking at the all versus all website and find out more about it. Um, I believe the day before is actually a another jujitsu tournament. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's called, but I believe it's uh, spo not sponsored, but it's organized by by the people at Next Gen BJJ. I don't know too much about their tournament. Um, I'm just giving you guys the option if you do want to compete that weekend. There's that. The day before as well on October 13th. Uh, I won't be there unfortunately because I have to stay here and uh, work at the gym. Um, so yeah and uh, the last tournament that I'm, I'm really going for is the Nogi Worlds. As you saw if you saw my video last year um, I ended I did end up going out to LA. I did end up competing though just because of the just because the registration uh, filled up before I I wanted to register, so I I already had my flight booked, uh, my hotel and hostel booked. So I ended up just going down anyways and just treating it like a vacation, um, which was good. Uh, I think I needed some of that time off, but I really would have loved to compete. So uh, I'm gonna try and uh, win the gold. In, in this one. I think it'll be my last tournament in, at Blue Belt. So uh, I just want to go in there and uh, really try and do my best and, and uh, come out come out on top. And uh, oh, last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, my two year anniversary of making YouTube videos. Um, so last year, if uh, you've been following me for quite a while. I gave out two sets of uh, rash guards and spats from Fusion Fright Gear. Um, this year I wanted to give out something uh, 
a little bit more high-end so for the people that were wondering what I'm gonna do uh, this year I'm actually gonna give out a uh, gi uh, from Fusion Fight Gear um, it is a Batman style key. I'm gonna have some pictures, some exclusive pictures for you guys to actually see what it looks like and stuff. Um, I won't post that up until Monday on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest you uh, check that out because uh, some of the information is there. And then you'll be able to see what the gi actually looks like. I don't know too much about it or what it looks like. All I've been told is that the cut style is sort of in the grips, grip style, like the grips ski style. Um, the the Street Fighter Ryuki that I have is more in the um, in the scramble cut style, where uh, the pants are a bit tighter. I haven't had a grip ski before, so I don't know what to say about it. But uh, no, that but that will be the gi that's gonna come out. It's a Batman gi. It's inspired by the Batman villain Hush. Um, if you don't know who Hush is, I'm not gonna go into the details. But uh, I would just suggest uh, looking looking into it yourself. Uh, he's an interesting character, um, and I think the gi will will be pretty nice. Uh, the pre-orders if you do want to pre-order I think will be in November as I've been told um, but I'm not sure about that and uh, I'm not really sure when they're trying to ship them but my give of uh, the contest the contest will be from October 1st to October 31st so you'll have a lot of time to actually enter to try and win um, the Monday after the 31st is when I will be announcing the winner uh, here on YouTube and then uh, that winner will be able to uh, will be receiving uh, that Batman hush key from me uh, directly so I, I also have written out the terms and conditions so you guys can understand what uh, what needs to be done to get in to get entries to be eligible to enter and um, what the reward is um, if there are enough people too I might do a second prize as well so hopefully there are gonna be a lot of people so um, so everyone has a good chance to win last year I think I got 23 people signed uh, wanted to sign up um, so yeah there, there's gonna be you're gonna have a good chance uh, especially with all the entries that you're you're gonna be able to get but uh, I'll go into deeper detail about what you need to do to actually enter how your eligibility and uh, more along those lines uh, other than that I really hope you have a awesome weekend um, as you can see it's um, in the office right now it's actually raining today which I like uh, it, it, it's a nice day for me it is it's a nice day um, but yeah hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend uh, stay tuned for that giveaway and uh, we'll see